Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. So let us not give space to political opportunists who want to malign President HH because they had said he will never be president. And now he is president, courtesy of the people of Zambia. You can read through them, you can turn them down one by one. Sakuba Scott, he has a bond to chew with President HH because he stood to become president of the UPND and lost through a democratic ballot at Morogus. And I was his campaign liaison person. I was not in the HH camp myself. I was in Sakura's camp. I was his spokesperson for the campaign. And we lost together. <laughs> Facts must be stated. We lost. After we lost in the night we met and said, no, we have lost. What do we do? So no. Others, some people said, no, let's form a, a political party. Some even had already had names. They said, no, even the name is already here. It's ULP. So he was like, so these people knew that we were losing. Why were they making me campaign when they knew we were losing? These are facts. That is 2006. We lost. So, may I ask only one question? Now, if you are saying we form United Liberal Party to oppose because HH has won, what if our camp had won and HH had lost and is now sitting with these people in the night the way we are under the cover of darkness? and say, let's form another grouping. How would we have taken that? Because the idea of going into this competition was that whoever wins, the loser should support. That is how some of us left that losing camp. These are facts. I'm part of that losing camp to HH. But I'm a Democrat. I accepted the people's verdict. These are facts. Some of you have been in politics, covering politics for a while. You know what I'm saying is the truth. So, Sakwiba has a bone to chew with HH and therefore cannot be relied upon as a measure of good judgment against HH. He is patently and manifestly biased. Because I can see a number of journalists, some of you I am. In that whole transaction, in our camp, there was a quiver spot. Party spokesperson, there was given Rubinda. Deputy spokesperson, there was myself. So, we had given Rubinda, we won. But after our, our candidate lost, given Rubinda also defected with the losing candidate. These are facts. So, when you listen to Sakura Scotta, when you listen to Given Rovinda, these are people who are bitter to the bone about HH. So never expect anything good from them about how they will judge HH's performance. It is in our After HH became president of UPND in 2006, we went into what was called United Democratic Alliance, UDA, in 2006. Because UPND then had just lost its 
founding president. And in that alliance, clearly the dominant force was UPND, because UPND had 42 members of parliament. And FDD, I think, had, if not one, had one MP. But then Edith Naoki, Edith Zewirani Naoki, said, I will be the leader. He said, what matrix are we using here? And through a democratic ballot again, H.H. won the presidency, the, the candidate, candidacy of UDA. And from the day HH was announced to be the candidate for United Democratic Alliance, Edith Zewirani Nawaki went under in hiding for three months until the day election results were announced. And on that date, Mr. Michael Sata was the one leading before all other constituencies were finalized. She surfaced, quick record a briefing to congratulate Mr. Michael Sat. I would like to congratulate my, my brother, he has won. Later on it was discovered that actually it's President Manasa who had won. So you can never rely on Edith Zewirani Nawaki. She has nothing good to say about President HH. In fact, as a person herself, she is bad hearted. <laughs> Some of you will recall that I told you the case of Lusaka City Council, Mrs. Edith Zerani Naoki where she hounded out a widow and threw her out with children sleeping outside the house. Today she can say she, she has a good heart to lead Zambia. When did she change from that bad heart that she can lead the country? It is now ask her if she did not cause Puma Filling station, Charleston, closed and unleashed ZRA as Minister of Finance on account of a lady who was running that filling station on the personal issues. Ask her. Today, Edith Nawaki can talk about maize. GMO maize. The government is so amazed. She holds the record of the most unscrupulous and most scandalous maze gate scandal in this country called the Carrington scandal. Ask her. She has no morality to talk the way she wants to talk. She doesn't have. She is just conspected with bitterness against the church. And some of us are getting fed up with that kind of malignant bitterness. What has the church done? Is it a crime for him to be president of his own country? All right, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you, peace. I gotta go.